Makers are setting up a task force to study the possible effects of opting out of daylight saving time. The task force would evaluate the health risk associated with daylight saving time, identify the potential effects on morning activities, establish whether changing the clocks twice a year is economically or socially disruptive, look at the potential effects of daylight saving time on traffic and crime, and evaluate the position from neighboring states and the federal government. Many in favor of the change are also in favor of keeping the clocks permanently set to daylight saving time. That move would require a constitutional amendment at the federal level. It's very difficult, I think, um, for, you know, parents with small children yeah. working um, and adjusting to school schedules and work schedules and bedtime and all of that. Even though I lose an hour in the spring, I prefer coming out of work at 536 and being bright out here like this. Well, many New England states are considering changing time zones altogether to Atlantic time, which would be a simple fix, but there could be transportation, television scheduling, and economic issues if neighboring states don't do the same. I think we're still kind of adjusting to the time change here because we get up so early anyway. Right. There's a physical toll that is taken with daylight saving as well. Right. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're waking up.